Welcome back to another Nice Art watercolor. In the next five minutes, I'm gonna share with you how to make this flower watercolor. To follow along, the supplies needed are watercolor paints, a watercolor brush, a sponge, a pencil, an eraser, a pen, and a sheet of watercolor paper cut to your preferred size. Now, we can begin. I started by lightly sketching out the flower I would later be painting. For this, I used my favorite sketching pencil, the Faber-Castell HD Pencil. One thing worth pointing out is that the flowers that are meant to be closer to the viewer rather than further are ever so slightly larger. For example, the flower on the right side is bigger than the top left, and that one is larger than the bottom left. This will help different parts of your drawing pop out at the viewer. Now, I used my 05 micron pen to outline the rough sketch. In a previous video, someone asked me in the comment section why I go over it with the pen. To help answer your question, I go over with the pen for a few reasons. First, it helps you, the viewers, see what I am painting over more clearly. Tracing with pen also helps the lightness in the watercolors stand out against the white of the paper. Speaking of comments, Feel free to shoot me a comment down below, or you can ask me any of your questions, just say hi or anything else, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Next, I mix several colors. Obviously, you can choose whatever colors you prefer, but for this painting, I recommend using earthy and natural colors. To do this, take a base color and then mix in a touch of the complementary color. For example, if I wanted to make a natural green, I would mix a lot of green and then add in a touch of red because green and red are opposites on the color wheel. Given this system, I made a few natural greens, purples, and a yellow. And at this point, I began painting. I started by painting a wash over the leaves and stem using my lightest green. To paint a wash, all you have to do is spread a very light layer of watercolors over a specific area on your paper. In last video, I asked you if seeing my mistakes is beneficial. Well, here's my first one. My plan was to go and do a green wash on the stems and leaves and then go over later with the purple wash for the flowers. I accidentally went over everything with the green wash, so I guess we'll just have to see how it goes. Using this technique, I was able to add shadow using my second green color. Something that is worth making note of is that when layering paints on top of one another, make an effort to go from lightest to darkest. This will help make sure that there are spots in your painting that are light. Once all of my greens were painted in, I made sure to spread out the paint so that it wouldn't all gather in one spot. To paint in my shadow, I chose to paint it in on the bottom and on the right side for me of all of my areas. I was originally not going to put it in on my flowers, but since they were already covered in a wash that was green, I decided why not. The technique I used to paint in my shadow was essentially just a wet into wet. If you're not familiar with wet into wet, it's just painting in a wet area which was covered in my wash and then adding in a second color, usually the darker one, and that'll easily blend it in. Um, if not, then you can just add a little bit more of your lighter color and that'll blend it right in to your first color. I now added in my purple color to my flowers. Although it didn't get as purple as I wanted to because it already had the green in it, it still ended up getting to a pretty nice color. Finally, I painted in the yellow for the center of the flower. Looking back, I probably would have painted the yellow in before some of the darker purple layers, but it still looks good to me. Like I said, when layering watercolor paints on top of one another, make an effort to go from lightest to darkest. Honestly, it kind of gives the texture of pollen, which I guess is a good thing since I'm going for realism. If you like this video, I encourage you to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to Nice Heart. Thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to hopefully interacting with you in the comments and hopefully seeing you in next Nice Heart videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time on Nice Heart.